right all the cupboards are now out and the eagle eyed of you will have noticed this bit of panel in here now I'm overboarding it because uh, this ply is very thin it's is it like three mil or something you can see it's nothing to it um, I've put these temporary lights in but I've actually changed my mind about these lights because my good friend Martin at Fossil Metals gave me some other lights well he didn't really want to give them to me I don't think but I said oh I like them and he was like oh well I've got some spare if you really want them so I, yeah he's a generous guy he gave me some lights so uh, I'm gonna keep the wiring I'm just gonna snip the lights off and rewire the new lights to that those lights but I think that's the plan anyway I'm gonna add 12, I think, 12 lights, so six down each side. So I've got to add, to add some wiring actually. E by gum. Anyway, started, skylight's out. The spider was this big that lived in the skylight. He's now gone to another place. Spider heaven, let's say. Um, I took the shower back out because I've changed my mind about the shower again, uh, but only changed my mind about the size of the shower. I'm gonna go bigger, I think. Um, so for now, the shower is out and it's all open now. So, I want to show you some updates on what I've done in the van so far. Or what we have done in the van because not this one obviously is, is trying to help but I've got Rick Beechwood involved because I just don't have time uh, in building my own van yeah somebody's birthday today he is now one so everybody say happy birthday to this one hooray happy birthday happy birthday Yay. hooray yeah, you play with that screw. Anyway, so, you may see behind me that there is some cladding up there. <coughs> yes, there's some cladding up there. Daddy did that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started doing that back wall, basically. That's where the door is. I've not done the door yet, but the door will be done. Right, and then... Whew, the ceiling is now complete. And I've inset these little lights in, thanks to Fossil Metal Martin. Uh, they sit very flush to the uh, ceiling, they don't stick out at all. Uh, and there's how many of them? 10 is there? 12. 12 of those went down. They're ambient lights, so they're not the brightest of lights ever, but that's fine. Uh, and as you can see, the back wall is more or less done, uh, bar a few bits at the bottom. However, uh, that's going to be changed soon anyway because the shower is going in there. Uh, here we have a Max Air fan, I think the, the deluxe one with the tinted. I'll put that down somewhere, I can't put that down somewhere. Uh, it's one with a tinted lid, tip remote control that all works and everything. Um, so, thanks to Leisure Vehicle, Service, <laughs> Leisure Vehicle Services for that. They sent me that as a freebie. Uh, they sent me my old one actually uh, in my other van, my Skymax, uh, but this time I wanted a fan. I've never had a fan before. Uh, and I quite like this, so I've got a fan, it's more or less above the kitchen. Uh, and the moving on to the kitchen, Rick Beachwood has started building this kitchen. Uh, that is the skeleton of it for now. Uh, the hob is here, and the sink just arrived today. Yay! Yeah, the sink! Uh, the sink just arrived today. Uh, I'm going to pick the work top up tomorrow, and Rick's got the doors to finish tomorrow also and then on top of that it, there's going to be a, sh a, a yeah there's going to be a cupboard that runs the full length of that back wall all the way to the bed yeah and that's what we're up to at the moment so there's a lot going on in here oh actually i forgot also this bed here well this was a seat i don't know if you remember i've now, ext I've now extended it by about eight inches extended it by about eight inches um and extended the foam and then put a put a cheap cover on for now uh that I stole from a brothel um yes that's right uh so that's now a, a single bed so i've got double bed single bed also a large seating area um 
and some storage. <laughs> yeah, storage underneath there. That's where my batteries and some of my electrics are. My diesel heater is underneath that seat. <laughs> Eventually my water tank's gonna be underneath that seat so they are forward of the rear axle. Because I'm trying to distribute weight as much as possible. Um, and water pumps and things like that will be all under there. In fact, all the plumbing will be under there. The bobble heater, water heater will be under there. Shower plans have changed again. So down there, there is a 600 by 600 shower tray and I put a wall up. It's just too small. I couldn't even get my shoulders in there. So I've given up on the idea. I think I'm gonna go for a 700 by 700. Yeah, 700 by 700, which I think is a good compromise. Uh, I was tempted with 700 by 900, but I think 700 by 700 might be the compromise. I'm not 100% sure actually. Yeah, that's right. We're not sure yet. <laughs> and anyway, but that's the next job. Once the kitchen's done, I'll be moving on to the shower uh, and hopefully it won't be too much drama. Uh, and then plans after that, I think the shower comes, I've marked it on the wall somewhere, the shower comes to about here. But it's getting there, I, obviously I've got a lot on, I've got a baby. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and then I've got an Alice, and I've got family time. Yeah, you keep doing that, it's fine, I'm sure it's picking up really well on that microphone. Uh, I'm building a van for somebody as well at, at the moment, a transit van. So I've got to do that during the day and then drop on this for an hour or two in an evening. So I'm trying my best. I'm sure Rick is going to be right happy with you banging that on there on his new kitchen. Right, tomorrow I'm going to wix to buy a worktop for this. Right, listen, we've got some really important updates on the van. Uh, so much has been done. I've not had a chance to film much. I did do a live the other day that went on for three and a half hours whilst I was building. But this van is coming on so good now, I can't even tell you how good it is. Like, I have moved into it, it is proper homely now. Uh, it, it doesn't look it, I know, in the backdrop this way. That's the last wall to be done because I've got some other things that I need to sort out. But I'm gonna show you what we've done or what, what has been done to the van. So you can see this has been extended. I think I might have already told you about that. This has been extended now, so it's a comfortable single bed uh, for when the kids stay over. Yeah, you can you, you can demonstrate that. But don't play with them, because you've already been told off for playing with them. And that, yeah, you've already been No. Have you finished? But right, listen, listen, let's have a lesson here, right? That, that is your toy, and that is not your toy. No, but that's your toy. That's daddy's toy, okay? That's your toy. That's daddy's toy. No, 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 no. Right, there's a valuable lesson in life. <laughs> but anyway, I want to show you. I'm trying to film something here. Oh, He's tired. He is tired. Right. Let's show these people what we've done. Right, so I'm going to move you around here. First of all, there is now a shower, uh, which is 760 by 760, which is bigger than I was going to have. Uh, the toilet and the dog live in there at the moment, uh, but I'll move this back. You can see we've got a shower wall, uh, and then I've got to put a line in, which hopefully I'm going to do this weekend, hopefully. But that's what the back of the shower is looking like. So we've got plenty of floor space around here. But the bit I really want to show you, and I'm going to struggle to fit all this in, but look at my kitchen. Right, there's, first of all, five kitchen units above there. These have all been made by Rick Beechwood. And you can see that I've clad all the walls. That's all that side is finished. And then look at the kitchen. Look how cool that kitchen is. Now, Look at the detailing that is put on there. Everything is just beautiful. Magnets, soft closing. Ah, oh, it just looks, and it's just amazing. Uh, so I've got, yeah, two, two ring hobs, stainless steel. Um, I had black in my last one, but I just figured, yeah. Uh, and then stainless steel sink, not quite plumbed in yet. The gas is working, but the plumbing isn't working yet got plans for plumbing obviously I need to plumb the shower as well uh, but 
Yeah. We just have to take our time with it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll show you the cupboard. Whoa! The cupboard doors, uh, again, magnets, soft close. Oosh, look at that. Um, even details like countersinking the little lights up into there, uh, everything. It is just wonderful. I've got some window frames to make. Uh, maybe this weekend I'll do that as well. Uh, but it is looking so good. My little, my little ambient lights in the ceiling that are sit flush. Uh, so then, I, so these are, these are not very bright at night, but that's kind of the idea. But then I can turn the kitchen lights on to brighten the place if I want to. I don't know if I've already showed you that I've got this Max Air fan. Yeah, I've already showed you that Max Air fan. To say that I'm working full time on somebody else's van and then finishing in the evening and getting this one done, uh, I think things are moving quicker than expected. I will sort out this wall again maybe after the weekend i don't think i'm gonna get to it at the weekend and then we need to figure out what's gonna go here what could go here do you think well i'll tell you let me tell you and sit down ha let me tell you so uh i don't know if any of you do know but i've had a log burner for a little while in my other van but never fitted it um and my plan was to fit it in the other van but i had issues with too much solar on the roof so there was no way for the chimney to come out i didn't want to go out the side so i just never fitted it but now i've got the perfect opportunity to fit that so in this corner there's going to be a wood burner mainly decorative i'm not gonna lie i can't see me using it too much uh but that's what's going in that corner so you can sit on this you can sit on this uh sofa bed and you can have are you gonna pull that camera down why not, listen, why don't why you just not use, Rick spent ages making this kitchen and you're going to use it as a climbing frame. <laughs> as you can tell, he's happy to be on camera. He's very tired and I'm going to go, he's coming to work with me today, which is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to put him in his chair in a minute and he's going to go straight to sleep because that's what he's going to do. Um, so I've got loads of stuff to do, uh, <laughs> like I said, the wood burn is going in that middle, chimney straight out the top, oh dear, my little sausage, that's why them boogie woogies, crap all them boogie woogies off your face, oh dear, right, I think that the boy does not want me to film right now, so I am going to love you and leave you, just wanted to show you where things were going, uh, and how things were doing but as you can see I'm blown away by it like the kitchen Rick's done a, an amazing amazing job at the kitchen so if you go follow the Beechwoods their, their YouTube name is just the Beechwoods I think it's time to say goodbye are you gonna say bye bye I'm gonna say bye 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 <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Right, have a good one. Love you all. I'll keep you updated on how things are going. Uh, things are moving quicker than I expected. So, anyway, bye bye.